welcome back gamers and welcome to my channel today i've been thinking to share with you last chance there is if you press over here nine days event ends we let you what, what i'm trying to say it's that you have nine days to pick up one of those bundles but the bundles are kind of a uh, weird in that regard in this bundle uh it is uh, if i'm not mistaken 12,000 or sorry 12 million credits silver 12 million and s same story over here with those 12 million credits silver um let me put in this way i do honestly believe of all bundles in the uh, in this uh, uh, shop I repeat, of all bundles in the shop, the worst purchase you can do is, let's say, purchase those 12, 12 million credits silver. <sighs> Guys, here's the deal. Even if you play uh, in coop battle, um, Georgia can uh, make you 250,000 credits profit in one game. Even in the damn coop. You do not have to play in random battle for 20 minutes to gain those 250,000 uh, silver. I know it's not a whole lot, but if, if you have an awesome, really darn good, awesome uh, battle in Georgia, you can come up with probably 1 million or more than 1 million silver earn credits in one single battle. And why pay real the doubloons for that stupid 12,000 or sorry, 12 million silver in this bundle? It's up to you. But what I'm trying to say is today I'm thinking to share with you my thoughts about the uh, special bundles and the particular ships. I'm talking about the Georgia, Alaska, and Massachusetts. They all will uh, end. Uh, in nine days and let's just press escape and we are going to us because i do have all three of them now here's the deal i know it sounds weird what i'm gonna say right now but i am being truth to you guys i am darn truth and yeah, i kind of forgot to uh, to mention the armory there is of course opportunity and let's talk about that how i receive my ships and how much did i pay i pay for crying out loud not with doubloons or gold or credit card i purchase my um, alaska and georgia with i do believe coal but where is the where it's the Commanders, containers, ships. All right. Yes. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Yes, of course, I purchased my my Georgia with coal. I don't know exactly how uh, how much did I gain, but you know, uh, you can play and have opportunity to to go to um, do some missions and you just by playing uh, and open the containers you always can receive at least 1200 coals so I, I do yes i did uh, purchase my georgia with coal and remember uh, that guys that you still have a coupon so let's say if the uh, salem i want well, to purchase just give you an idea yes you can purchase uh, 240 but you also have um uh, ships coupons uh, and gives you like say 25% off I do believe I already use my coupons but the way and the most cheapest and which I highly recommend it's of course using uh, your resource not your credit card and visa but um, USS Massachusetts you cannot purchase with gold that is the only premium uh, tier 8 that you have to use your doubloons to purchase her so remember that uh, you know but uh, um, something else guys same story if you purchase a regular 
premium with let's say doubloons i do believe it's the same story you can use it your coupons if you have it and, and probably before i gonna do um, a lot of information thunder it's in this meta probably the strongest tier 10 battleship uh, in this new type of meta so i highly recommend you purchase it if you have enough with coal 252,000 coal but now guys the desk the reason i want to talk about it's of course those three ships and there is of course the uss massachusetts where are you baby there is the uss massachusetts george um uss georgia and of course alaska um which one are strong remember the massachusetts by the balloons by purchasing her um it's of course cheaper than uh georgia way way cheaper so keep that in mind she's only a tier eight but she used to be she used to be the strongest tier eight ship in the entire game she has literally almost no weakness whatsoever um well she kind of has one she's not quite a, a sniper the only reason i'm saying then that it's that um her guns it's you know very hard hitting guns but you see yeah, i'm talking about the ap whopping 701 meters per second he shells 803 meters per second what I'm trying to say that to land any kind of, a, uh, let's say, hit for close to 20 kilometers or above, because you do have a spotter plane, it is rough. And I do not recommend her to plane as a sniper. And that's the biggest problem, guys. The U.S. Georgia and U.S. Massachusetts, they are not snipers plus 20 kilometers. The, the shells take so long time. Uh, you can almost um, have a smoke or a beer bet uh, between your time to land a shells for uh, ships more than 20 kilometers away. So you may argue, guys, that all those three ships, Alaska, Georgia, and Massachusetts, they all got nerf. Remember that. They are not that strong as the previous patch. How is that? The biggest nerf is, of course, her secondary. When I play with this ship, you know, I chew up uh, the light cruisers and uh, destroyers have so many secondary kills, you won't believe it. And something else in the, that is also kind of important. The USS Massachusetts, guys, is uh, crazy good uh, in heal department and a department and very hard hitting you have six guns and they are very hard hitting uh, guns they are not turpits and bismarck those guns deals much more damage and they have the improved ap pen it's us super heavy ap guns and they are you really feel that you play a battleship you're not tickling your enemy especially cruisers and this and 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 uh, uh, a battleship you're hitting big damn uh, damage to them and i highly recommend um, uh, to purchase her because she, you cannot purchase her with coal or free experience you cannot so you really need to you know use your credit cards unfortunately to to, pur uh, to purchase her for the alaska guys let's go talk about the uh, alaska should i talk about the, the georgia instead yes the Georgia it's very fun ship to play I do like her she is unique in that regard that um, she has Iowa hole but she is one of the fastest battleship at at tier 9 and she's kind of a wide and big large easy to hit um, she used to have she used to have great secondary not so much anymore uh, even if you spec her uh, with secondary you kind of still need to do that you know why guys because those shells are very hard hitting they are massive you can overpan a lot of cruisers left and right and even some ang uh, battleship have hard to angle versus your big uh, caliber guns the downside is guys that the secondary are pretty much worthless 
On the other hand, in this today's meta, if we are facing tier 10, you kind of screwed in that regard. You have very hard to land your uh, shy. You see, my main concern about this ship is that she has a range of, I do believe, less than 20 kilometers. Her range is exactly flat 20 kilometers. Yes, you can improve this by 16%, but then how the hell are you going to hit a damn thing above 20 kilometers? That is the uh, problem. You have very laser accurate, very tiny uh, shells, and that is the strength about this ship. It's very, shall I say, accurate as long as you can aim, but she's not built to snipe 20 kilometers away. You may have been lucky and can hit uh, your target um, if that it's a huge damn battleship or a slow um, Vermont or you know Kansas you name it yes you can do it but the problem and that's the problem she was built to be a brawler she was built to be a flanker from left to right remember guys the strength about this ship is overmatching other armors like cruisers. You know, you, they, you cannot stay bound versus those behemoths, and, and that's the biggest strength. The secondary and her great AA, because if you build everything for secondary, this is one of the strongest tier 9 US battleship in AA department, if you spec everything. So no CV will just go and strike you because you're USS Georgia. Probably it's the last battleship you want to engage. I'm not saying she cannot be strike. Yes, she can. But the thing is, with uh, her potent strong AA, you uh, literally take down the whole squad. And you're also fast. And thanks to this uh, speed boost and heal, she's literally improved heal and many other things that you cannot compare it with, let's say, any other tier uh, 9 I was uh, class battleship because she has improved here. She has great um, uh, speed, and that's about it. Uh, once again, let's let's talk about very 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 fast about her equipment, and that it's of course the spotter plane. Yes, you do have this spotter plane, and can you do it? Yes, you, or you yeah. Yes, of course, you're going for spotter plane. The, tr the truth is, the, the guns are so damn slow. I'm talking about shells. It takes freaking a mir miracle uh, for you to hit anything above 20 kilometers. You have opportunity in range, but it, it's most likely you're never gonna uh, you're never gonna hit a damn thing. That's the problem. And you only have six shells for crying out loud. So all those makes this is not a sniper 20 plus kilometers away and that it's a consideration um, she got unfortunately uh, uh, nerfed by the her secondary same thing with the uh, um, uh, Massachusetts but Massachusetts I still believe she's still potent strong and well worth the money now let's talk about Alaska Alaska of all three in my honestly opinion she is the strongest She's almost as strong as tier 10 uh, cruiser for crying out loud. Now, you do not have this uh, fire preventance, which basically if um, HE spammer spy, spy, uh, you know, strike you or spam you, you will be dead. Because of the uh, commander's build, once again, this is another ship that she suffered. Um, uh, because, you know, the the cruisers to brawl the cruisers to in your face you have to play, uh, be more careful and in, in that regard thanks to this stupid uh, um, uh, commander rework she got nerfed but just that because um, she also have small uh, improved and it is very important to, to mention um, What's a special about Alaska? Alaska, guys, to be honest with you, it has only one weakness. Only one freaking weakness. She's a 17 seconds reload time. I'm your nine guns. I mean, 70 seconds, it's... You may argue that it's a slow reload, slow DPM, right? And the, the shells kind of travel, uh, um, you know, slow. I'm talking about 
only 762 AP uh, minutes per second. That is the only weakness this ship has because everything else is great or close to broken overpower. She is by far the biggest cruiser killer in this game. If you show your broadside to this behemoth, I have personally done, I don't know, it was a Soviet cruiser, yeah, it was showing your broadside and I, I blap her for a whopping 35,000 uh, uh, damage, one salvo, 35, you know, several citadel. The strength about this ship, it's, you do not fear a lot of lower tier battleship. Once I face two full HP uh, Bismarck and I kill them both. Yes, Bis Bismarck can, uh, you know, uh, do big damage to you, but they cannot overmatch your armor with 380. Yes, that is a different story with uh, Yamato and all the big uh, 406 millimeters of guns. But in some regards, this ship, it's so tanky, so great. Her AA, it's fantastic. The CV um, are actually afraid of you, the destroyer are afraid of you, and even the damn battleship are afraid of you, and the most afraid of you of all types of nation, it's of course other cruisers. You'll eat them for lunch, breakfast and dinner. How is that? The shells AP are so bro uh, broken close. They are so freaking tight together. There isn't an, any other ships in the entire game that so freaking close this um, salvo is it's not if you're gonna citadel anything it's just how many citadels you're gonna uh, as long as your aim is correct and you have to lead you lead your shots what i'm trying to say guys it's by far she is by far one of the still even though she got uh, you know uh, nerfed in some regard thanks to this um stupid um, uh, com commanders and let's talk about the commanders you can you still gain this um, uh, heavy AP shells I highly recommend to put this one how is that you are not a HE spammer if you think you're gonna HE spam left and right the HE are not that but the AP are fantastic you're doing something terrible wrong if you do not um if you do not use it and something else she fits like a, a glut with those st stupid strong john do do and uh, those super commander which uh, literally uh, reduce your um, uh, reload time by 70 percent from let's say ag to ap you reload in less than four seconds switching from ag to ap for instance and you also have a uh, improved um, uh, turret traverse speed. So guys, what I'm trying to say that she's amazing. Something else, and this is probably also something important. Even if you think, man, I like battleships, but they reload too too slow, and I'd ra rather play a super cruiser. Super cruiser, it's, it's definitely this ship. It's definitely for you. Uh, something else I very much like to talk about. It's for me she's very unique let's talk about her equipment because this is everything she has a lot of good stuff for her and that's the she has so much package that's the reason i put her one of the strongest cruiser in the entire game for instance you have long range uh, radar many tier 7 and tier 8 destroyers may face you but then you, they have to come within the radar range to torpedo you. But if they do, they will actually pay the price because you will um, radar them for a very long time, more than 30 seconds. I do believe it's close to 40 seconds. Radar H is fantastic. You also have Hydro. Hydro is torpedo 3.5 and, and detection of a ship's 5 seconds. And action time is whopping 110 seconds reloading 120 and you have a four heal but what it makes this sh ship kind of a shine in this meta you see there's something wrong over here Zera. why do you not have the concealment mod well if i have the steering gear modification uh two
I could have the engine. No, sorry. Well, in that case, seriously, guys, if you pay attention, my rudder shift by minus 40%. If a sniper, and here's the deal, why Michael Silman it's bad, but here's the deal, guys. If a sniper, uh, Yamato, or I don't know, you name it, Montana, wants to strike me and kill me from 20 something kilometers away, yeah, they may blap me, but the truth is, with this rudder, and this is something else, and let's talk about her rudder. I have 6.3 uh, seconds in rudder, and turning around is 850. I am one of the most maneuverable cruiser in the entire game uh, there are very few who can beat this rudder and this turning radius i repeat from far distance if a sniper wants to snipe me they might get lucky but if i have this perky nose in incoming uh, fire and i see there's someone on, uh, um, aiming at me i can juke left and right and serious even the open uh, ocean like ocean you know what i mean the the map ocean i can do well with this ship because seriously guys if i as long as i keep my distance i have one of the best rudder in this game and i'm not afraid i show you in broadside you think you can nuke me i turn left and right and by the time the shells were not even hit in the near damn postcode so this is the re reason i played her she's as big as a house on the other hand she turns us on a dime for how big she is and it's kind of uh, awkward the physique is not there guys but uh, trust me i'm gonna say right now she is well worth it and i believe it's a free experience if you have her unlock her before it's too late uh, she is by far my most enjoyable cruiser in this game because she has literally no weakness and something else and this is the last thing i want to talk about it's her armor and her citadel her citadel are so freaking um there's the citadel well good luck to hit that I have no I have no idea how many hundreds of battles that I played maybe once in several hundred battles I got still by very lucky uh, long range I have no idea US shell or something uh, battleship shells Yes you have Citadel but you cannot be Citadel because she's way under the water it's I'm not saying impossible but close to impossible to Citadel her, her. Uh, and of course it's a big large ship H spammer can aim here, over here 36 uh, millimeters. Your immune versus um, low um, destroyer caliber guns over here. We, of course, you do have super destruction. But guys, seriously, if you are um, smoker destroy, if you I don't know Harigumo, you name it, you don't want to be with an. Um, radar range of this thing because this thing will actually kill you so bad you're never gonna believe it. um she's not a destroyer hunter but she is a fleet escort in aa department and versus destroyer so what i'm trying to say and he here's the most important information there isn't a ship type she's afraid of she's not afraid of any other cruiser or any other destroyer any other battleships yes if there are several battleship aiming at this yes i went down and uh, once i remember there was three battleship aiming at me and yes of course i could not uh, stand all the, the the big caliber guns after all you're still a cruiser but one versus one or one versus a lower uh, battleship like you tier 9 versus a tier 8 uh, battleship you have a crazy good chance to actually do more damage per minute than a battleship can do you so you will actually kill a full hp battleship until the uh, the, the the ship will kill you even if you have lower um, uh, uh, lower uh, lower hp pool so yeah guys of all ships alaska is still the best but it's depend on you you know uh, it's uh, it's obvious that uh, the the reason number one you want to uh, purchase this ship it's of course to level up your captain which i have 20 uh, points captain this new orleans and of course once i will get to the moines this will be my the moines captain and um maybe in the very near future 
I'll get 700,000 commander XP to become my first 21 points captain. Yeah, good luck with that wargame. I do believe, guys, without saying too much, this um, commander rework has been done through drone or uh, take all your uh, elite commander XP from the game to invest to become as strong as you were previous 19 points now you need to have literally 21 so if you pay attention to my already improved dude she he is a 20 points captain but I need whopping close to 700,000 commander XP to uh, uh, to unlock him for one lousy point one point only is it worth it i have no idea you let me know in a comment below so guys thanks guys for watching and uh, this video was most for someone who does not own those ship and uh, i give my thoughts they are all great unfortunately they all got all three got nerfed but this particular ship with the five percent uh, ap improved she also got uh, buffed and now her salvo with that particularly 5% uh, will deal even more damage. And trust me, I'm saying right now, this ship has one of the best AP pen of all ships, besides probably uh, Stalingrad and uh, many other super cruisers from Russia. But otherwise, this is not a joke. She's, she's very fun and very hard to deal with, very hard to kill. Uh, if she play properly, you know, she's after all uh, still a cruiser. So guys, thanks guys for watching and always captains fair seas and goodbye.